Hey, what's up? Don't click away. Today we're going to test drive this TBK UV258. What is up guys? Thanks for tuning in and checking out this episode. If this is your first time here and you guys enjoy all things tech and repair related, please make sure you guys hit that subscribe button and smack that bell so you're notified on our latest videos. If you guys have any questions, comments, or need a repair, please visit us at www.mrphonedoctor.com or leave a comment down below in the description area and I'll do my best to get to you guys. And while you're at it, please check us out on our social media platforms found here. All right, now that we got all that out of the way, what's up guys, I'm Javi Guzman, and thanks once again for checking this series out. So today you guys are in for a treat. I just recently posted a video on the TBK UV258. I did an unboxing on this little beast. So for those of you guys out there, the TBK UV258 is a LCD slash OLED separator. It's designed to separate the OLEDs from the mid frames. So what I'll be doing today is I'm gonna be using the clear glass that I got in here, cure over this glass, and with this separator, it just lifts everything up and gives it a nice, clean, flawless removal, reducing any kind of waves or dimples that you do see on these OLED panels. So I'm really excited to see how this is gonna work. This is the first time I'm using it, so um, we're both gonna be noobs in this operation here. Hopefully everything goes smoothly, but um, you know we're gonna go ahead and uh, make an attempt at it and do the best that we can. I'm gonna go ahead and leave links down below in the description area if you guys do wanna purchase this from TBK's website, so feel free to do so. Uh, once again, I am not affiliated with TBK, but um, you know I'm a big fan of all their products and everything like that, and I do highly recommend you guys using their machines and their equipment because they've been in the industry for quite some time and they do a good job. So let's go ahead and uh, dig into this and begin separating our first OLED. As I mentioned to you guys, the parts that I was actually waiting for were these uh, clear glass sheets. So what these clear glass sheets do is they sit over your OLED panel, your old broken glass, and these just help create another thicker layer so that way when you do start lifting and separating, you don't have all these cracks start bending and you incur damage on the OLED. And they do make these in each series since of course, you know, the radius on the glass is a little bit different on the models. Um, this one's an S9 Plus, but I'm almost certain it's gonna work on the S8 Plus. So let me go ahead and show you guys our display that we're gonna be running here for the training purposes. So this is a B grade, it's got a dead pixel on it. You know, I didn't wanna do anything A grade because I'm barely getting familiar with this machine and I didn't wanna have any mishaps. You can see this one's heavily damaged. It's got a lot of heavy damage down on here, up on top here. So this is gonna be a good case to play by and see how well this clear glass that we put on is gonna make this secure. So, and we wanna just confirm full touch, which is good. So it's got full touch, everything's good. There's no other blemishes besides this dead pixel right here, I believe. So all it's got is just this dead pixel here that you guys can see. All right, so let's go and begin the first step, which is of course going to be to applying the clear glass onto this. All right, so we have our clear glass. And I did see them have, they had like a large black bottle um, that they were using for the UV. I'm gonna be using this UV Loca tube. This is all I could get my hands on. I'm gonna go ahead and prep this glass. Man, this is thick though, pretty solid. So it's gonna give it a nice secure feel. And there we have it. You can see how this just covers everything. See that? So this glass is just gonna sit on here and it gives it a full coverage, so you can see how it's covering everything, which is nice. Let's apply our loca. There we go, and that should be, I think that'll be enough. So we're gonna now go ahead and apply the clear glass right over this. And in the videos, I do see that they just press it down and let this go through. So I'm gonna give it a gentle little press here. Probably should have put three little dots up on top, on the bottom and everywhere else. So it goes, yeah, let me, it's not too late. Let me go ahead and do that. There we go. Let's go ahead and uh, put this in our UV light and we'll cure it. So we'll let it cure for about, I'd say it's 60 seconds. That should be a good enough time. Done. 
If you notice, you can see everything. We did get a few little bubbles down here on the bottom, but that's fine. It's it's secure. There's no breaks down here or anything. We just want to make sure you get all the areas where they have damage secured. So I'm going to cut right here, and as soon as it's ready, we're going to begin removing the OLED. All right, so we have the screen ready. We can go ahead and set it in here, tighten it up, make sure these are nice and tight so it grabs on the frame. So we're going to be using this little suction cup arm here to remove this panel. So the suction cup, you're pretty much just going to want to press down and lock this in place. And we have a nice grab. So this is where we can start using this arm to swivel and turn and begin lifting. We're gonna need some ISO 99. We're gonna use our little clear card here. And this is when we get, you get to use this rotating apparatus here. So we're gonna rotate this and begin turning this knob. As you turn this knob, you're basically lifting the glass and the OLED on here. So I'm just gonna lift until I see it lift up and I can get in and find a good little entry point. Look at that, we got in pretty easily. Nice little insertion point. Just gotta be very careful here because this is where the OLED panel begins. And I'm just rotating this dial as I need to to give it a little more lift and flex. good it's it's actually removing from the frame let's go ahead and work this side here and on this side we can go in a little bit deeper because there's no you don't have any flex running here the dial we're out lifted lifted and I think that's it we're all it's done it's out and we're just attached right here wow that was awesome that is a clean pull so there we have it now the moment of truth of course does it work does it work so let's go ahead and give it a test and touch and everything's fully working wow we are one hit wonders did this on the first try so touch everything's good so of course what the next step is going to be since you do have this glass on here you can go ahead and slice it off and you're going to be slicing it off the traditional method out of frame of course um, you're pretty much just going to use this flat plate on the machine so you can see here it is here's the pull you can see all the shards they stayed stuck to this clear glass which worked wonders let me go ahead and show you guys the other feature on this machine because that's Another purpose of it is being able to cut the glass. So first, of course, you do want to drop the temperature down because the OLED is going to be facing down. So here, let's take a look at this here. You can see here how clean the pole was. Look at that. Clean, clean. Okay, so we removed the arm and we'll be using the other function on here. So you can see how universal this tool is. Once you get it off, we'll set this here and just cut away. Set this on here. Look at that. It just pulls the screen down. That This is not going anywhere. I love it. All right, we'll go ahead and make our little entry point here. And I'm going to release, take a look, make sure we're good, and we're good. All right. Get our good old faithful line out, and we'll cut this off. And this process is actually pretty quick. That's what I like about this one. Ta-da! Very slowly. Now let's reveal. There she is. And here is the clear glass that we used. See that? Here's the old that we pulled out and the clear glass. So that's it. So that's that next step, of course, is gonna be to clean the OLED. Um, if you were well, you were gonna actually need to just set this down on a flat plate and just clean all the Oka glue and give it a little magic erase and you're good but of course let's test it make sure everything's working good and i'm a fan i'm excited i am like 
so stoked that this machine worked that awesome. I wasn't expecting it to work that good. Because um, I don't know if you guys are like me, you guys see stuff on videos that, that the manufacturers are making and they make it look so easy. You know, but the thing is, you know, it really is in time once you learn how to do things. But at first it's just, um, I guess, learning and getting acquainted with the equipments and stuff. So there it is. We have our OLED revealed. Good job, TBK. Woo! Look at that. So that's going to pretty much wrap up my video, guys. I really hope you guys enjoyed it. Once again, make sure you guys subscribe, hit that like button, share it, and comment. Let me know what you guys want to see because, uh, you know, we're going to be getting some other stuff. Rui was actually in the process of sending us some really cool stuff. I'll be doing an unboxing and uh, tutorials on their stuff. So uh, make sure you guys subscribe if you guys want to see the latest videos. And we'll see you guys in the next episode. Thank each and every one of you guys. You guys be safe out there and uh, take care. Surgeon signing out. Cheers.